If they nuke anything, we're in serious trouble. Hold. Hold. Uh-oh. Nissa. Hey, everybody. We're back for another Phyrexia I Will Be One draft, hoping to <laughs> avenge that terrible deck we built yesterday. Before I even click ready, I'm going to put uh, the lucky hat on. I think that was the problem. Is I put it on in the middle of the draft instead of the start of the draft. So uh, here we go. Oops, helps if I have some sound. There it is. Huh. So, what's this thing again? The spell costs three less to cast if you have nine or more cards in your graveyard. That's not going to happen. When it enters the battlefield, exile three cards at random from your graveyard. Choose a non-creature, non-land card from among them and copy it. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. So, uh, it's a spell slinger, right? Um, I don't love it, but there's two great removals in this deck. What the heck is this? Oh, no! I did the alchemy one! Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know anything about these alchemy cards. Oh, man. Okay. When it dies, conjure a card named uh, Slime into your graveyard, perpetually double the power and toughness of Slime and that card, and then shuffle them into their owner's library. That seems powerful. What now? What? Say what? Oh, I've got five seconds. When it dies, conjure a card named Slime into your graveyard, perpetually double the power. Okay. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, if there are no non-basic land cards in your library magmatic scorching deals three damage to any target interesting we know what this one does i am not playing another seven drop card after yesterday's debacle this is an awesome card evolving adaptive boy i was not ruthless partitions good i was not ready for the alchemy piece of this Oh, man. Okay. So we should have taken that red card. <laughs> this just... I still don't understand what this thing does. When it dies, conjure another card with the same name into your graveyard and then perpetually double the power and toughness of slime, whatever it's called, Mephidros slime, and that card, then shuffle them into their owner's library. Okay, that's actually kind of a cool card. Okay, nothing here that we like that's black or green, so let's look at our red stuff. That's okay. Hexgold Halberd. Ooh, Hexgold Hoverwings. That's a great card. And the Furnace Strider. Hmm. Boy, the removal here is really good, too. Sorry, I'm just still thrown that we ended up in alchemy because I clicked the wrong button that that's not great all right we're gonna take the hover wings let's stay wide open huh another one how do I have one of these oh, I must have opened a pack of alchemy cards when it enters the battlefield choose one choose an equipment card in your hand it perpetually gains equip one that's great for hex gold hover wings target equipment you control perpetually gains equip one what oh okay so one in the hand and one on the battlefield are cheaper to equip. Anything in black green that we like for this slime card? Yeah, actually. That's a good card. Whisper of the Dross is good. Oh, man. So they become six sixes for three? But, I mean, you have to draw them again. Uh, I think I just take Kemba here. Hmm. So I'm either gonna take Chimney Rabble, which I've really been liking, um, or the Splitter. This is such a good card because it lets you play offense and defense. You can come down, swing the three-three, knowing you've got a one-one left behind. But it looks like we're going to be an artifact deck, um, equipment deck, maybe. So we'll take the splitter, see what happens. Ooh. 
think I'll take... What's this now? Creatures you control? Nah, nah, that's not a good card. That's good. But, nope, we'll take the removal. Um... I guess I'll take this, just in case we end up needing a removal card. Hazardous Blast, sure. Wow, none of this is very good. Really wishing I'd have taken that red card, though. Oh, oh well. I mean, <laughs> we're definitely red for now. Oh man, gotten myself into another mess, just like yesterday. It's my footstool, in case you're wondering what I'm messing around with. Ah. Furnace Strider, hey, like to see that card. Sure. This one cares about oil, right? You may remove two oil counters when you do target creature can't block. It's not, I mean, it's an okay card. And it's a what, 3-2? Yeah. Well, let's see what else we got. See what else we can do. Maybe pack two will enlighten us. Hey, Chimney Rabble came back around. That's a really good sign. That means red's open. Unctus obviously is a great card if you're in the artifact deck. Cacophony Scamp is tempting here. Because I got a feeling we'll get another chance at the Leon and Lightbringer. Although, with nobody taking red, this actually might wheel to us. Uh, I think I just take it here instead, though. Oh, I can't believe I'm in. Uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Um, okay, a couple of good cards here. Um, Jawbone Duelist is good in our deck because we can equip it. I mean, oh, we don't have any Batter Fists, do we? No. This is a really good card with Batter Fist. You can just equip it and swing 3-1 Double Strike. Hex Gold Slash for removal is always good. Right now, we don't really have any 2-drop creatures. So I wonder if we just take the Jawbone Duelist here over the Hex Gold Slash, knowing that red is relatively open. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Barbed Batter Fist. Look at that. Here's another alchemy card. Exile three random cards from your library face down and look at them. For as long as they remain exiled, you may play one of those cards. Cool. It's tempting to grab both of these cards, actually. I'm hoping that Blade Graft wheels to us. It should. If the Chimney Rabble did, that one should as well. Another Hex Gold Hover Wings. <sighs> Axiom Engraver is such a good card. I think people are sleeping on this, or maybe they're catching on now, but it's so nice to rummage. You don't have to pay anything for it, you just have to tap it and remove an oil counter. Um, boy, I still think I take the Hex Gold Hover Wings. Two drop creature. Take that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take the Mandible Justice here. 
Hey, Hex Gold Slash. Yeah, if a Hex Gold Slash has made it to pick seven, nobody else is playing red in this, right? It's just me. Uh, Axiom. There's a Leon and my bringer. I knew we'd see another one. All right. We're clearly not in these colors. Probably only run one of those, right? If we have two hex gold hover wings, do we really want another Volshock splitter? I don't know. Molten Rebuke's probably not going to make the cut. This thing... If there are no non-basic land cards in your library, which right now we don't plan on running any non-basic land cards, comes in deals three damage. That's pretty good. Another hex gold slash. Sure. Yep, there's that blade graft aspirant that I thought would wheel to us, so that's nice to see. Another Axiom Engraver. Wow. Molten Rebuke to the sideboard. Chimney Rabble. Wow. What on earth is this thing? We're not going to take it, but... Let me grab the card that I want to take here first so I don't miss it. Um, I think it's just another Barbed Batter Fist, right? I was really hoping we'd see some, like, white removal here, but that's all right. All right. Indestructible. Darksteel Hydra enters the battlefield with X oil counters on it. Okay. Darksteel Hydra's power and toughness are each equal to twice the number of oil counters on it. When Darksteel Hydra enters the battlefield, conjure a card named Darksteel Ignit. Ignit? Rich. Come on, dude. Um, and the card named Darksteel Plate into your hand. I wonder what those cards do. Oh, they're right there. Yeah. Okay. And gone. Rebel Salvo. Yes, please. Furnished Rider's probably going to come back to us. If it doesn't, the Kadoltha Cackler definitely will. No white cards in here that I'm interested in. Rebel Salvo is definitely our pick. Here's another alchemy card. Sacrifice a creature, seek a creature card with the mana value equal to 1 plus the sacrifice creature's mana value, and put that card onto the battlefield. All right. Furnace Strider is probably going to come back to us. Eesh. Atraxa, you say? Do we take our second Mandible Justice here? Hexgold Sledge, what's this thing? When it enters the battlefield, conjure a card named Goblin Gavalier onto the battlefield. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. So, it does the four Mirrodin and creates the Goblin Warrior? It gets plus two, plus oh for each equipment attached to it. Huh. Interesting. I think I'm going to take it. Why not? Another Cacophony Scamp. Do we have a Hazardous Blast already? We do. Probably don't need another one. I'll envision myself running two of those. Probably not going to run three Axiom Engravers. That's not a great artifact. Oh, I mean, putting it on that little goblin would be kind of fun. I don't think it makes the cut, but we'll grab it anyway. Furnace Strider. Gets one O oh, for each oil counter on it. Whenever it enters the battlefield, or whenever another creature or artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put an oil counter on it. Sure. That actually might not be a bad card in our deck. Free from flesh or another Leonin Lightbringer? How are we looking on creatures? Lots of creatures. But that ward two and one one with equipment is nice. So I think maybe I just grab that. E 
Equipped creatures you control gain indestructible till end of turn. That seems like something that might be fun in our deck. Hex Gold Halberd. I don't really have much oil in this deck. How many Furnace Striders do I have? I have two already, so I'll grab one of these just in case. Wow! Red is just so unbelievably wide open. We can't complain about not getting our choice of red cards. I, I just wish we would have taken that first card, that first red card that we got. The one that allows you to cast non-creature spells from your graveyard when it entered the battlefield. That actually would have been nice with all this equipment. I panicked because I didn't realize we were in alchemy, and I grabbed this stupid thing instead. Oops, no, nope, get out of there. Okay. We have a ton of cuts to make. We need to get down to 40. Uh, let's go through our one drops. Kemba's Outfitter enters the battlefield. Choose equipment card. It gets perpetually gets equip one. I think we keep this because we have two hex gold hover wings. That would be super nice to be able to equip that stuff for one. Skull Bomb, maybe. I think we only need one scamp. Fusling, eh, we might come back to that. Injector can go. Jawbone Duelist stays. Justice Seer, I think, stays. Resistance Reunited, probably not. Axiom Engraver, we only need one. Barbed Batterfist, two of those is great. Equipment, Throw of Possibility can go. Dune Mover, one, two, three, four, five. We've got six two drops already, so that can go. Leona and Lightbringer, yes, keep both of those. Keep this, makes our equipment cheaper. That thing can go. Definitely want to keep this. It's new. It's fun. The Cackler probably can go, but we'll come back. Salvo stays. Volt Charge stays. I'm going to run two of the Hover Wings. Two of the Chimney Rebels? I think so. And then maybe we don't run the... Since we're running two of the Hex Gold Hover Wings, maybe we cut this Bullshock Splitter. Maybe only one Hazardous Blast. I think we're going to be a 16 land. I mean, our curve is pretty low. 2-7. We can get away with 16 here. So cut one of those. Right? Or do I go 9 and 7? No. No. 8 and 8. I mean, am I heartbroken if I can't get down my Jawbone Duelist or Kemba's Outfitter on turn 1? No. Or turn two, even. Um, we're going to go red seven, or white seven, red nine. All right, we still have three cuts to make in this deck. I think uh, the Koldatha <laughs> Cackler, it's easy for you to say, can go. Jeez, what are the two cuts? Did we get rid of one of the Skull Bombs? It's nice for the card draw, but other than that, we don't really need it. This card hasn't really hasn't really won me over. It's so easy to get rid of. It's I mean it's a it's a one it's an O one. Yeah. I think it just dies too easily, so we'll get rid of it. Puts us at forty. Um, let's see here. Okay. <clears throat> I think this is what we're going to run with. Ooh, I did take our curve up quite a bit, though. 2.9. 13 creatures, but we've got... I think all of our equipment is 4 mirrored, and so technically that's 19 creatures. Limited rebalance. What the heck does this even mean? Whatever. Doesn't matter. All right, um, we're going to take this into battle, knowing that we can come back and make changes if we need to. Some things that I think we might end up putting in 
another axiom engraver if we end up getting flooded or mana screwed. Actually, I think that might be. I mean, obviously the Skull Bomb is good for cycling if we need to. We don't care so much about the oil with this deck. So, yeah. All right. Away we go. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> we go first. We've got a turn two play. We got the mana for it, so let's do it. I mean, maybe we'll just top deck really good cards. Ideally, we'd get an equipment this next turn, and we can swing in with our... Uh-oh. We need to go in a hurry. <laughs> Bummer. Not an artifact. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect target for that. Hmm. Not great. I was really trying to get an equipment card there. Jeez. Do I have to put this down now? This card might be a cut. Okay, next turn. That was not a great turn for us. We needed more of an oomph there. They're going to proliferate one here. Come on. Um, I think we just get rid of that card. Equipment. Nope. I doubt they'll trade here. Yeah. Hex gold hover wings would be fantastic right here. Now it would really be fantastic right here. I'm fine if you want to swing that. Go ahead. Not anymore. I'm not cool with you swinging that. <sighs> Man. I know I should be doing that on, on their turn, but... Okay, so we're gonna take... Oh man, and they can pay the two, proliferate. And they're gonna hit me for another poison, taking me up to five, six. Right now we are at nine damage. So we're at 14 damage next turn if we can keep everything on the board for the Hazardous Blast. If they nuke anything, we're in serious trouble. Hold. Hold. Uh-oh. Nissa? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We don't care about that at all. We actually prefer that they took their own life to do it. No cards in hand. We're going to hit them for 4, 10, 11, 13. Good game. Whew! 
<laughs> wow. All right. I'll take it. That Hazardous Blast is such a good card. Do I put another one in the deck? Hmm. I don't... I don't think I do. No. Not yet. If I run across a situation where it would have won us the game, then maybe I think about adding it, another one to the deck, and taking out something else. But until then... I think we just keep the status quo. Okay, game two. Um, we've got a turn two play. We're on the draw, which is a bummer, but we've got some good removal. A wordy creature. Keep this. Perfect target for our Ecor synthesizer. Wait, strike that, reverse it. For their Ecor synthesizer. Ecor, as I insist on calling it for whatever reason. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think we put this down. So we can threaten killing off their mandible next turn if they attack with it. If they want to use ossification or planner disruption now, I'm perfectly cool with that. Actually, there's nothing in my hand I want to get rid of, so no, we're not going to do that. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, I think... Therefore I am? No. Um... See what they do here. Okay. What are you gonna tap down? The one one, I would assume. Can't tap down anything else. Okay. So you're gonna tap down the creature that's already attacking. Okay. Please block it with the mandible. Yeah. So they'll swing here probably with both creatures, right? Why wouldn't you? Skrelv Deflector might. do again. Choose a color. Another target creature you control gains Toxic 1 and Hexproof from that color. Right now, I don't care about that. Especially because they can't choose red and white. Um, I think if I swing the 3-2 here, they'll just trade it with their 3-2. Right? Right? And I'm actually okay with that. Oh, 
Oh, really? With the atmosphere surgeon? That surprises me. They won't proliferate here. That doesn't make sense. I would love to get a land next turn and get that magmatic Scorchwing into the air. Don't think I'm trading here if they swing the 3-2. They'll probably make it... Yeah, they're probably... Oh, they can't. I think you have to pay a mana, right? Oh, or pay two life. To make it uh, protection from white. Pro white, I assume. Yep. Okay. Coming in for three. Not going to block it. Oh, that's such a bummer. Okay. To equip this, equip one. Now oh, they can't swing the two five. I'm trying to decide what I want to kill here. They won't swing their one one. Do I Volt Charge the 3-2? I think I do. Oh, they can... Oh, that's right. They can pay and... Shoot. I forgot about that. So I don't get my proliferate, even though it's got so. Uh, so it basically fizzles the spell. I can't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, do I try to get my land here? What do I give up if I go for my land? Furnace Strider. I can't. I just, I need to get a land. Land. Boom. Look at that. It's got to cross your fingers. Now the question is, <laughs> do we take out the Skrelb Defector Mite or the Prowler? I think we take out the Mite so we can take away any ability they had in the future to, uh, give stuff protection because we still have the rebel salvo so that would be nice to I mean we can win this thing in two turns right furnace strider next turn hazardous blast the turn after it's going to be really tempting to not use the rebel salvo the spell cost is one less to cast if you weren't the starting player they weren't. You may have Surgical Metamorph enter the battlefield as a copy of any permanent on the battlefield except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. It's going to come in as a 4-4. Yeah. Well, it's found a target for the Rebel Salvo. Okay, so 
We are definitely scared of a white sun's twilight right now. We're super scared of it right now. Okay, no longer scared of it. Seven. That's the that's the key number for white decks. That puts the wandering emperor online along with the uh, white sun's twilight. Oh, they're loading up. I think they know what's coming. So we've got what? 6, 11, 12, 13 exactly. Well, if they have a counter spell, congratulations. Good job. If not, good game. Hazardous Blast comes through again. Both games, that's been our, our winning card. So that begs the question. Do I add a second one to the deck? If we haven't lost, do I need to add a second one to the deck? What would you do? It's just been so good, but what do I take out? We haven't actually used a chimney rabble, so maybe I can ditch one of those for a hazardous blast. What would that put our creatures at? 12. It, we'd, we'd be fine. We'd be at 17 creatures. It's probably greedy to do it this way, but I'm going to. Because it's been a ridiculous card for us these first two games. So, why not? I used to play a lot of blackjack. Um, actually, you know what? I'll finish this story after we actually get a match. So like I was saying, I used to play a lot of blackjack, and I was sitting at the table, and I was trying to decide if I should bet more or less on the next turn because I had either won a lot or lost a lot the previous turn. Hold on. Um, no, we can't keep this. Oh boy, this isn't much better, but we'll keep it. And the Furnace Strider over here. And he turned to me and he said, chickens get fed and pigs get slaughtered. In other words, don't put so much money out there and you'll be fine. If you put too much out there and be a greedy pig, you're going to lose it all. Um, which, I mean, chickens get slaughtered too. And pigs get fed. Uh, decline. So it's like, that's a that's a terrible... Analogy is not the right word, but... Chickens get fed, pigs get slaughtered. I mean, it's stupid. They both get fed, they both get slaughtered. The gist of the story is, don't play blackjack, kids. That's fine. Goof, we need our removal, please. Interesting, interesting. Mm, another land next turn would be glorious. Yeah, another land this turn, please. Don't care what color it is. Do not care what color. I got a 40% chance of drawing a land this turn. That would be stupendous. Oh no! Oh, destroy target enchantment. Okay. Phew. My stuff's an artifact, not an enchantment. Slow down, read the cards. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Land. Land, land, land! OK. 
Okay. How much to equip this? One. Swing for nine seems pretty good. Let's put down some defenders. Next turn, I can put the Hex Gold Hover Wings onto the Leon and Lightbringer and ball game. Or, if the board stays as it is now, swing everything I got. What are they going to do here? I think if they attack, I block with my 1-1. One, one. What's this thing do again? It gets plus 2 for each equipment attached to it. Leon and Lightbringer becomes a problem because of the Ward 2. Unless they can kill me this turn, they're just dead, right? Ward 2. You can't pay for it. And then we got this as a backup in case this doesn't work. They've only got two mana, so they can't, right? Oh, nice! Nice. I mean... What else am I going to say? That was a really nice play. Okay, let's see if they swing that here. I should I should always remember to not get too cocky, man. Like didn't I not did I not learn my lesson yesterday when I had a menace creature on the battlefield, all I had to do was attach my equipment and swing to win. They had no blockers out and one card in their hand. And I said to myself, well, they have to have and it wasn't a they weren't a red deck, I don't think. So I'm like, well they have to have two creatures. I'm gonna win. They've only got one card in their hand. And then they went ahead and dropped the uh, the the chimney rabble, creating two creatures to block my menace creature, and I lost the game. Hey! Like I said, we had that in our back pocket for backup, just in case we needed it. Gold three, moving on up. Three and oh so far. I'll take it. <clears throat> that black green card that we drafted, pack one, pick one. I'm still kind of curious to see how that would, if that would work well in limited. I would think, maybe. I mean, it dies, then it, so it's a 3-3, three, three, it dies, turns into a 6-6, six, six, and it adds another copy of it and shuffles it into your library. So, I mean, you could top deck it very next turn. Have a three mana six six. Odds are not great, but in a forty card deck, they're better anyway. Okay, we only have one creature, but we've got a ton of removal. We go first. We've got all the lands we need, and we've got a way to rummage out if we start to flood. So I think this is a good keep. On the draw, I don't know if I'd love this one quite as much. No sense in telling them what kind of deck we are yet. We'll hold the surprise for one more turn. Give your opponent as little information as possible. Oh, that's a bad card for us to see. After all, we are an artifact deck. 
This thing chews up artifacts and enchantments. That's a bummer. All right. Um, yeah, nothing I can do about it. I mean, I'm actually I'm thrilled to see this card out of their hand. It's, it's good for us. Boy, my two big creatures are five mana. So do I wait one more turn or do I rummage now? I think if I do it now, it's greedy. Right? We'll do it now. <laughs> oh, and then I pulled the two five, the two five mana cards that I was just talking about. Oh, that's funny. That's really funny. Like, instantly. That's, I mean, come on. Come on. That's good. That's good stuff. You know what? We'll switch. I'm not going to pitch any of these cards on their turn, so. That's really funny that it happened that way. <laughs> the two cards I was thinking about when I said that. Magmatic Scorchwing and Furnace Strider. Good stuff. Incubation Sack. Okay. Okay. I think I care more about this thing. Um, so, I'm gonna nuke that. Ah, oof. Um, we hold for now. And really hope we pull a land next turn. We're at 39% to pull a land. Boy, a land there would have made this game really, really interesting. Oh, at least we found a use for our mana. That's nice. Here's to hoping they don't have a Tyvar in their hand. If they have a Tyvar in their hand, we're in trouble here. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. We need a land. Thank you. Um, Furnace Strider, right? Next turn, we can play the Magmatic Scorchwing. Hit their 3-3. Three, three. If they swing that 4-4 four, four here, we're in trouble. Oh, no. Okay. So if I take 7 here, I go down to 7. If they can Titanic Growth it, I go down to 4? 3. I go down to 3. And then I can't swing next turn. But if I only go down to 7... I can... Sheesh. Sorry, buddy, I'm thinking. I think I let them use their trick here, right? I'm going to take the trample damage. So would it make more sense... So I take... 8 there if I do it and I take 4, 3, I take 6 if they use it here <clears throat> oh, okay well, either way, my creature was gonna die I couldn't risk going down to 3 
the heck is this thing? When it enters the battlefield, conjure a card named Plains into your hand, and if an opponent has three or more poison counters, you may seek a non-land card instead. Oh my gosh. What a good card. So they get to just... I don't, I don't remember how Seek works. It's not exactly a tutor, but it's pretty darn close to a tutor, right? I don't think Hazardous Blast is going to do us any good right now. If they offer the 4-4, we trade straight up. Not straight up, I guess. <laughs> what does this thing do? And this picture's put into the graveyard, return it to the battlefield? Ah, gross. Yeah, okay. We have just been on our heels this entire game. <clears throat> the power of being on the play. Actually, I think we were on... Were we on the play this game? We might have been. But I just feel like we've been on our heels the entire time. Trying desperately to catch up. What card did they see? Oh, they sock. They sock? It's a new word. They sought this thing. So now the question becomes, how many more tricks do they have? They've used the Tyvar, they've used the Infectious Bite, Complete Devotion. I mean, if they, if they swing here, I'm gonna... Interesting. I think I like these cards. This gives me two creatures. I can trade with one of their 3-3s three with my 3-3. Three three. Then I can equip it to my 1-1, one one, making it a 3-1. I can still trade with their 4-4. Four four. They're not going to swing the 1-1. One one. Jeez, that proliferate and incubation sack is doing some work. Four, eight, twelve, thirteen damage with the hazardous blast. But this is the turn they're going to force us to trade. Oof to tacos. Okay, well, next turn they have that online. They can tap any creature for one. Leon and Lightbringer would be nice right about now. Okay. If we Hazardous Blast now, we get rid of their 1-1, one, one, and we get rid of their other 1-1 one, one that can tap down our 4-5, which is the only reason they're not swinging at us. 
if they if I let that one one live they're gonna start wrecking us right so I have to do this now even though it's not ideal And I think I need to hold back, right? Oh, those things can't... Nothing can block, right? Okay, well, yeah, I just did the, the whole thing, Rich. So 2, 5, 9, 13, 14 is all we can hit them for right now. And then we die on the crackback. So we say next and go. Do we need a third hazardous blast in our deck? We have one. <laughs> no, we don't. We might actually go back down to down to one. Oh, God dang it! I mean, they're gonna—they have to start swinging here, right? They're gonna start popping these three threes in on us, and we can't do anything about it. We're going to have to start chumping everything. Yep. They're not going to send the 4-4. Four four. They'll send all the 3-3s three they can. Why are you not sending the 4? Okay. Well, whatever. Let me just think about this now. So we've got three pieces of equipment, so that makes that a 7-1 flyer next turn. No, that's not that's not good enough. Does anything increase toughness? Yeah, so I couldn't even put I couldn't put the barbed batter fist on this thing if I wanted to. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. See ya. See ya, Strider. Are we just dead here? I think we're just dead here. They go down to nine. Oh, no, we don't. Trample. We're just dead. Forgot about the trample. Hoofty. Yeah, we just, we could not get our footing in that game. I'd be curious to watch that one back, maybe, and see if I had a misplay. Not for nothing, but we switched to the two hazardous blasts and lost the very next game. Although I don't think they had anything to do with that loss. The opponent was just able to out aggro us. Um, I love this hand. <laughs> if I had, if this was a red and a white, I would probably keep this. As it is, I have to mulligan. Okay. It's tempting to ditch one of the lands, but we need to for sure have a play on turn three. So that goes to the bottom. We can't be on the play turn three and not have anything to do. That was a good use of our hex gold. Oh no, Rich. You should have. Ugh. Oh, silly. I should have equipped it to the. This, making it a. Well, it still would have made it a 2 1. So they probably still would have blocked. Oh, 
Oh? Oh? Okay? Was that going too slow for you? Was that was I not moving fast enough? Because I hesitated on my click. What just happened? You're a white deck that's built entirely around Kemba, and when it died, you're like, well, forget this, and you left? I guess, maybe? I'll take it. <clears throat> what are we, three and one with this thing? Four and one. We made it back. We got to four wins. That's the goal. The goal is four. The rest is gravy. We got back almost all of our gems. Anything after this now is a big old bonus that we're super happy about. And it turns out this is kind of a fun deck. I mean, it's not my favorite, but it's been kind of interesting. Um, boy, opponent goes first, and we have nothing until turn three. Uh, but we've got really good land. Is it greedy to keep this? I can't affect the board until turn three. So if they put something down turn two, they'll get a free swing. That's fine. Cacophony Scamp, off the top. Let's go. Oh, no, that's... That is not a card we wanted to see on turn one. Just here's some free toxic and damage. Okay. Well, at least we... we <laughs> it's ridiculous. If we didn't get lucky and pull Axiom there, they would have had... Corrupted Online after turn three. They still might get it online after turn three. Completed Devotion? Ooh, if they have hex gold wings in their hand. Again, we are in serious trouble. I think I have to block the dune mover here, right? Rut row. We we're we're in we're in so much trouble. So much trouble. Three turns. We need to build up a big enough board to magmatic scorch wind, no, to hazardous blast in, in three turns. Two turns for us. Because we can't stop that 5-5. Five five. Ridiculous. This is one thing about Limited that drives me nuts. It's like, if you get the bomb like that, congratulations, you're, you're just going to win the game. That's a bit frustrating. Okay, so the 5-5 five five comes through, obviously. We have to block the 1-1 one one and the other 1-1. One one. And then do we let the 3-4 through? They're not going to attack with it, so never mind. I mean, there's just no way. We just can't win this.
Okay, if we can get them down to... So if we send the 4-1 and the 4-4, four, four, keep the 3-2 back to block, he can deal 3 damage to anywhere they want. Okay. Let's think about this now. Yeah, we just don't. We just don't have a... I mean, they would have to let all this through, and then we would need a miracle next turn. Yeah. I mean, that's the smart play. Okay, I have to block the yeah. And then just they're just gonna nuke my five one that I just made. Cause I don't have a choice. Oh, it's so maddening. I just that drives me nuts. It's like play a card, win the game. I hate those kinds of cards. I mean, I play them if I get them, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love being on the other side of this, but eh, especially against the red deck. Like, I'm nothing but combat, or uh, nothing but, you know, burn damage, or whatever you want to call it. I have no ossification to take care of that thing. You know what? I'm gonna make you earn it. Screw you, buddy! I mean, ideally, I'd like to put Hex Gold on the 1-1. One, one. That's probably what I should have done right there. Put the Hex Gold on the 1-1 one, one so I could block that thing and only deal one damage instead of the four it's about to deal. You fool! Why was it telling me I could equip it then? That's weird. Oh, that's game. Then they'll just hit me for... Hit me to the face for four. After I've taken two in the air there. That's such a bummer. We were a much better deck than that one. Okay. I still think we, we run with what we got here. I'm not going to say we were a much better deck than that one. I shouldn't say that. They probably drafted that thing like pack one, pick one, and then they built mono white around it, and they probably didn't have a bunch of good cards to choose from. Oh my. Opponent goes first. We are removal, 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 big boy. Nothing else. <sighs> we 
man. And we got the three lands. Do I keep this, knowing I can just keep knocking away their board for the first three turns and then hope I actually get some creatures to put down? No. Look at that. We were not paid off at all. In fact, I would say that this got worse. Yeah, it definitely got worse. Mm. We would have zapped, nuked it. One, two off the board. Let's see what they would have done here. One, three. Okay. Well, I'll stop them from swinging. Maybe. We'll probably swing both. I was just about to do the bounce with me. Bounce with me. Um, let's take away their eventual mana dork. <laughs> We're just dead. Right? Oh, I've got enough to kill it, and I need six mana to kill it. Hex Gold Slash would have been really nice if I just would have kept it. Because then we can hit him with Re uh, Rebel Salvo and. Uh... Alright, so. This is ridiculous. Just nailed with two bombs. My turn. All right. We are going to die next turn. Nothing we can do about it. Rebel Salvo. To one of those two creatures. Volt Charge to the other. We go down to one. I mean, no, I can't. I can't use both. If I could use both, that thing would be dead. <laughs> oh, and I can't put down the Furnace Strider, because then I can only block one of those, and the other one dies. No, whatever. That game was epically frustrating. Didn't get good draws. They dropped draws, that's funny, um, on curve, and there was nothing we could do about it. All right, we got the four wins. We got our 1,400 gems, so we only lost out on 100 gems. What I'm bummed about, though, is that we got three Phyrexia alchemy packs, which not super thrilled about, but oh well, what are you going to do? Hope you guys enjoyed watching um, Alchemy Draft, which, oops. I'm sure I'll hit you up again tomorrow. Peace.